Hey guys, this is Tom at EverydayGamers.com and uh, I wanted to post a video today. I know it's been a couple of days, almost a week now since I posted a video. I apologize to all my subscribers, to everybody who watches my videos, uh, that I haven't done anything more recent. Um, it's just been a very busy, hectic week for me and this is a video that I've been wanting to put up here for a while now. However, my computer was kind of messed up and it was on the fritz so uh, I couldn't do anything with this uh, particular video. But um, one of my subscribers, who I'm actually subscribed to as well, YouTube page is Today is for Living. Um, if you guys haven't you know, checked that out, make sure you go over there. But she had posted a video just asking if anybody knew of a way to convert uh, DVDs into PSP format and how to put DVDs onto your PSP. And uh, I decided that I would make a video of it. I've done it before, and it's been quite some time, so it was like you know actually starting fresh for me again. However... Um, I, you know, I have everything down. I think that this will help a lot of people out because, unfortunately, Sony hasn't made this a, a very simple task for anybody to do. So there's a couple things that you're going to have to have, and um, there's a there's a way to do it. It's all free as long as you have the right equipment and the right stuff that you need. Um, obviously, the first thing you're going to need is a PSP. It doesn't matter if it's a slim or which model PSP it is. It'll work on any of the PSP models. The second thing you're going to need is a USB sync cable, the one that you actually sync your computer up to your P or your PSP up to your computer with. Um, you'll need this to transfer the video files over. And the other thing you're going to need, um, this goes without saying, is a memory stick. Now, personally, um, I wouldn't recommend anything. Well, you're really not going to be able to get um, video on anything other than like uh, one gig or higher. I recommend at least four gigs. You can pick that up for like 25 bucks um, at most places. I wouldn't go to GameStop to get it. They're going to charge you a little bit more than your average uh, electronics retailer, but it's got to be the uh, PSP um, memory stick, obviously. So make sure that you get the right memory stick. And uh, like I said, four gigs is going to be, you know, a pretty good size. Even if you want to go a little bit higher and get eight gigs, you'll be able to fit a lot more video on that. So. Let me go ahead and get into the process. I want to show you a couple of the first steps and uh, just some of the initial things that you need to do in order to get this done. Okay, first and foremost, you need your PSP. And once you have the memory stick inserted, let me go ahead and back out of here really quick. Once you have the memory stick inserted, the one thing that you have to do, and this is kind of a crucial step here, because this will create the proper files so that you can actually um, go ahead and save this onto your PSP memory stick. But you have to go all the way over and into the settings tab. Uh, you have to go over there. And then, I apologize for my phone ringing. Go down to, I believe it is under um, system settings. And just scroll down a little bit. There's going to be um, something that says format memory stick. Hit the X on that, and this will erase any save data that you have for any game. So just be forewarned about that. But you have, you're going to have to format the memory stick. And what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and create folders for you. There's going to be a folder now for games, a folder for videos, a folder for music, and a folder for photos. Um, without this, you basically just have a blank memory stick. And there will be nowhere for you to put your video files. Um, and since we're going to be putting movies on here, we need somewhere to put the video files. So that is the first and uh, most crucial step is to go ahead and format this. Uh, memory stick so that you can get it working properly. So once you have that done, we can go ahead and proceed with the next step, which will be going and getting the software. Um, if you guys need to stop or pause this at any time, I'd recommend you do that. Just pause it and then come back when you're kept, when you're caught back up, and then you can um, start again from where you're at. Uh, but I'll go ahead and uh, now show you the next step in this process. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to need to do um, after you format the memory stick is you're going to have to go and search for PSP Video 9. Um, really simple, just go to Google, uh, google.com and then type in the search bar PSP Video 9. There's a space between each of those uh, words and it's the number 9. And then just hit enter. Once you've hit enter, what you'll be able to tell is that the first, the very first link and hopefully you can see my cursor, 
is the download link for PSP Video 9. You just click on that and it'll take you into there. And immediately you're brought right to the main page. It gives you the option to download. Now just go ahead and click on download now and it'll bring up this download bar automatically. Now you can download for um, Windows version or you can download um, for you know Mac OS and uh, I, was, I, I have uh, Vista so I downloaded for Vista you would just go ahead and click on save file and then after the file saved just go ahead and run that so I already have it downloaded no need for me to go ahead and download it again um, I'm just going to go ahead and back to the main page like I said if you need to pause right now go ahead and pause and uh, we'll go ahead and um, you know you can catch back up with me after that. So once you have PSP Video 9 downloaded, make sure that you select the option to save um, a desktop icon. And I apologize if this is shaky, but I want you guys to get a good picture of this. That's PSP Video 9. It's going to look like a PSP. It's going to say PSP Video 9 on it. It's really obvious. It um, you know is pretty clear, plain, simple for you to see. So what you would do is then get your DVD. Once you put the DVD in, go ahead and click on PSP Video 9. And you actually don't have to put the DVD in yet, but you know you might as well do it now. And once you get into PSP Video 9, you're going to see right in this area here the convert options. Now, initially when you start this up, they're going to take you through some steps to go ahead and recognize your PSP, things like that. You do not have to worry about that setup process. If you just go ahead, download it, you know, skip past that setup process, you can just install PSP Video 9, you can go from there. But what you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna click on is the um, convert, and under convert, you wanna click on the DVD link, because that's what we're doing right now. Now they do have a link for video file, which would be if you have a saved video file on your um, laptop. Um, also online video, which would be YouTube videos, any other videos that you download off of, um, websites. But go ahead and click on um, Convert DVD. And it's going to bring you to this menu here. Now, with this menu here, it gives you the DVD conversion guide. And it's uh, pretty straightforward. It gives you all the steps that you're going to need. And um, it'll tell you everything that you need in order to do this. Now, not a big deal. It's um, just one of these four links right here. And it tells you all this in the description. It just says you can download DVD decryptor from here, 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 or here. I just clicked on the first link that came up. And it'll bring, a, bring up a DVD decryptor file mirror, um, which is essentially just a, um, a link to download the DVD decryptor. Now, since I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to do it again. But you would just go ahead and click on this link right here where my cursor is, download DVD decryptor. Once you do that, go ahead and hit the back bar, which is located up here. Just get, hit back. That'll take you back into here, and you can follow the rest of the steps. Um, step one is that you're going to place your DVD that you want to rip into your DVD drive. I've already placed it in there. You're going to launch the DVD decryptor software. So let me go ahead and just shrink this down. I don't want to minimize it. Once you minimize this, at least on my laptop for whatever reason, it just disappears so you have to open it back up not a big deal but you want to keep this open so that you can um, read off the next steps as you um, go ahead and open this up now you go ahead and click on the DVD decryptor you should have uh, saved a file or you should have a desktop uh, icon up here that says DVD decryptor after you've downloaded it make sure you save a desktop icon so that you can just make it easily accessible and you just click on that double click and it opens it up right here and this is uh, the screen that you're looking at. Now you have to set up a couple different things in here in order to get this to operate the way that you're going to really want it to. So let's go back into um, the PSP um, Video 9 um, steps here.